In his trap. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. His chin is breathing. Here we go. Oh! What the heck? Wait. What? The what? Heck? what? <laughs> what? Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Stick around to the end to figure out how you can get two free months of premium membership. Hey guys, we're back. It's Bollywood time. We actually have no idea what any of these people are saying, but we know there's a visual effect in there somewhere. I'm excited to hop in. I have a whole coffee in my system and I'm ready. Why do I always have to be in the back of the couch? Because you're the tallest. Do you guys know I'm actually part Indian? I'm legit actually part Indian. Sorry, exit point secure. Or contact me. Okay, okay. Dude, this guy, this guy's gonna get clipped. This guy's gonna get clipped hard. Is this the whom? Doom. Oh, he's undercover. Wait, he's suspiciously. He he is standing on a manhole yeah, cover. No, no. That is instantly suspicious. He's going. In, he's going down. I think he's going up. I don't think he's that old. Yeah, he's definitely not old. That's makeup. Hold on, time out. All right, votes. Is he going up or down on that manhole cover? I think he's going down, and then he's gonna reemerge anew. Oh, that would be the Bollywood way. Oh man, I think Clint's onto something here. All right, here we go. He's only going one way. Oh! What the heck? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? That was. Hold not on. Good. What? Hold on. What is the liquid? Oh no, he's going down. That's acid. The comp on that is horrible. The white edges, they're, it's so small. It was just that first shot though, because the rest of the acid actually looked not that bad. The left one is the one that's drawing my eye because it looks like a video copilot blood squirt. Blood squirt turned green. It looks like it's splashing out as opposed to rolling across the ground there. The end of it is actually disappearing. It's the white halo on them that really gets me. But then it cuts to the next shot where you actually see the acid starting to pool on the ground. And now that is an actual liquid simulation that we're seeing. It's actually not bad. No, I, I agree. And you're getting that, that that, like specular highlight stuff going on. It's the A man. Oh! Ah, oh! oh, down. Where did he go? Where did he go? They're like, no. Oh my God, he has fooled us. She fooled me too. Whoa, wait. Oh, he's coming he's back coming up. He's coming back up. <laughs> and he's all he's decked. Back. He's decked. Wow, oh, he's got a yes. roller blades. He's got roller blades. Call it. God Call dang it. it. Look at him go. Dude, Clint, you're right. You just forgot the rollerblades. And he's got to do a trick. You have to do a trick and pose all cool over those cars, man. Because Bollywood is just a contest of how cool you can look when you're in an action scene. He had his effects makeup artist take off his face makeup. Oh, hell yeah. This is, this is awesome. These shots look are legit. Fast. Dude, he hits one pothole and he is done. They're doing a really good job at making everything feel like it's at full speed. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the cars are moving at like a normal highway speed. The, the, the wide shot, like those shots right there. Usually when you fast forward stuff, it has like that very jittery motion that's very easy to tell that something's been fast forwarded. Generally, you're limiting yourself to like 25, 30 miles an hour if you have like a human outside of the vehicles. Yeah. Because the moment you start going any faster with a the person there, it's kind of like guarantee death if something goes wrong. So you always have to find creative ways to kind of keep things looking like they're moving at a normal speed. It's what they did for Matrix Reloaded on the highway scene. Everyone's just kind of driving at a slow speed, and as long as you keep the camera steady and smooth enough, you can fast forward it and make it look full speed without the shakiness coming in. Oh. All right, you got the helicopter team. They got the sniper. CG helicopter. Whoa, 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 whoa. So is that full CG? That, that helicopter flying through the city there? It looks full CG to me. It looks like a 2D card. It was probably a real helicopter filmed on a plate that they extracted from that plate and put into the scene and then animated it to come closer to camera. You can tell that because the actual orientation of the helicopter doesn't change as it goes from really far away to close to camera. It stays the same. Ren did that in real life. Look at those muzzle flashes though. Yeah, the muzzle flashes in this are pretty Pretty beautiful. I think that's a three frame muzzle flash. I just want to count how many frames that thing is. All right, one. What a beautiful little muzzle flash. Is it just one? It's all about like the tiny, like lingering dust ball. 
Now he's really gonna get him this time. The helicopter moves towards the left of the frame, whereas the little smoke thing there literally doesn't move at all. I it's think, like untracked. Yeah. But they're also in a helicopter moving sideways really, really quickly. Maybe that was an attempt to make it look like it was flying backwards. But you know, kudos to them for putting a reflection of the muzzle yeah. flash yeah, yeah. In, in the glass. And they put lighting. They put lighting on the door and him. They actually did the proper compositing for this. They just got the scale of the muzzle flash wrong. It's still a beautiful little muzzle flash. I just wanted to let the artist know we appreciate it. Hey Nick, get ready to pan slash tilt to the trash can. Okay? Oh my God, settle your heart guys, rate. Guys, I just finished this coffee. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ace this right into this trash can. If From I make it, if I make it, you have to subscribe, okay? All right, here we go, three, two, one. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Keep it together, Clint. If you're subscribed, if you're subscribed, don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Take a few deep breaths. He totally whipped the shot. I, I can already, your heart rate's at like 160. I'm like a hamster. My heart rate's like a freaking hamster's heart. Let's go. Boomba. Boomba. A wall of flesh that's pulsing and a man with a lantern. I, 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 I love this, by the way. I'm sold. That mustache. Oh, that I'm, shadow. This, this is, is great. Yeah, this is cool. I don't care what it's about. I'm down. Is a genie? <gasps> a demon? A demon genie? Is he the genie? Is this what the inside of a bottle looks like? <laughs> Meat walls. Dude, if I was a genie in a bottle, I'd be pissed. Uh oh, that's the perspective of a creature. Oh, got him. Ah, uh, so scary. So I'm super confused right now. Like these, this is just a set. This is just a meaty set. There's no way this is a CG set. Oh, his chin is breathing. Oh man, brutal. Like the set's real and like there's tons of practical makeup going on, but all that pulsing and twitching you see is, I'm pretty sure it's that's added in later. Basically, you're just applying a little bit of distortion to give it that like alive kind of movement. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's definitely done well. It's really subtle. Uh-oh, oh, wow. Monster Man. Is the monster real? Whoa. Or CG? Uh, dude, that particle? Oh, that's CG. Oh, he is CG. Wow, this is great. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just? Sorry, this is just getting crazy. Is he pooping out coins? Making that butt money. Okay, it is a pouch. I was kind of confused what kind of opening that was. The set definitely looks practical, and that's when you can compare the actual, like, the slimy factor and the reflections off of the set to the CG character. They're very close. The lighting is actually really good on the creatures. The rendering is pretty good, but I feel like the material doesn't quite line up to the set as well. The specular highlights are very broad and kind of dim and going across like his whole hand there, his face. There's another shot where you see like some actual physical prop guts and stuff. The highlights are way sharper and they're way smaller and there's way more of them. Whereas on the creature, they're a little bit dimmer, a little bit more spread out. I see what you're saying, totally. When you're building like a 3D material, generally you're given like a few basic settings. What's the flat color that you're trying to render? Then you can change the specular settings which dictate how reflective certain things can be. You have another setting for roughness, which is, for instance, the roughness of my watch face is basically zero because it's reflecting everything perfectly, but you have the roughness of maybe this bottle, for instance, and you see how it's not a flawless, pristine reflection. There's only so many properties you can tweak, but when it comes to a character that's covered in blood and dirt and is made out of skin and has a crown, you start to get into these situations where you have a lot of these different elements interacting in really unique ways that when you just try and apply like a single texture to a creature, you're not able to fully capture what that would actually look like. Yeah, but I mean, look at that shot there. What works in their favor so well is the single point of light right in the center of the scene. All of the monsters are actually lit really well. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm just saying like you're not seeing the right combination all these properties trying to be forced into one I, I think a big thing that throws off this effect for me is the movement a little too perfect A lot of it feels like it's animated by hand I don't feel like they had a person with like a mocap suit necessarily for this It was more like they filmed someone doing the actions probably did some paint out and then had someone go in by hand to recreate the character's motion. Honestly, like the monster work in this movie is really solid. Yeah. It looks pretty freaking good to me. This is a really cool movie. I kind of want to see it. I guess it's on YouTube and you can just go watch it right now if you want. Aja? 
Sam is a great film. We've actually gone through this movie before, but there are more scenes to be discovered. Like the whole genre of the Indian maverick cop, I love it. Like India's version of superheroes, like Captain America, you know? Except he's like Captain India. Oh no, is he wobbling it? I think he wobbles this for a good like minute. Oh God, here we go. They're gonna, he's gonna bonk him with a light post. He's ready to play some Beat Saber. Single arm Beat Saber with a stack. There he goes. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Done, dude. Deceased. Oh, crap. Whoa, hold whoa. Up. Hold up. Wait, what? That was real. That like, those were not CG people. That was a real stunt there. Obviously, there had to have been wires that they painted out. Oh, oh no. More wire work. Ha! It's the biggest. Nothing like hitting <laughs> the back of the head to cause them to fly up. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> He's like, whoa. You can't, you, this dude just outran a car. You can't outrun this dude. Here yeah. comes a slap, dude. Oh, it's a slap? Is this the power slap? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Get back here. Oh, something, yeah. That last shot looked really weird, by the way. That, the top down one? Yeah, that, something was up there. Yeah. That's it is. fake. Yeah, it's a perfect cutout of him. Is this shadow a little smaller than him? It looks a little smaller, yeah. Your shadow is always gonna be bigger. I'm fairly convinced now they didn't actually shoot him spinning on that ground. They shot him somewhere else and they had to put him into that shot. So they probably just tracked the ground back in, rotoscoped him, turned that into a shadow, basically make him into a shadow on the ground, just slightly offset, and the effect's done. But they did a good job with the ambient occlusion. Look at the center of his shadow. It gets darker. It works well enough for the moment. It's over in like half a second, and then you, you moved on. And you don't even remember that you saw that shot. Somebody gonna get a hook. Oh, there we go. Bad. There we go. <laughs> Granny style. So these Bollywood clips are super inspiring and they inspired me to get better at my VFX game. And if you guys are the same, then I think today's sponsor is actually perfect for this episode. It's Skillshare. And if you guys don't know about Skillshare, it's basically an online learning community for creatives who are looking to up their game. So I've actually been using Skillshare over the last month and Patrick Foley has a really great class on creating realistic french fries in Cinema 4D and Octane. He actually goes through the whole thing. You model the french fries, you actually have ketchup uh, with a nice simulation going, you have salt in the air, and he lights it really, really well. Really, really cool class. Skillshare has thousands of classes. They actually make it really easy to get into. They're pretty bite-sized, set for any schedule. They got classes on photography, motion graphics, design, filmmaking, any skill you guys can think of. So lucky for you guys, Skillshare is actually hooking you up with two months free of a premium membership to get you guys learning, to get your game stepped up. And honestly, Skillshare is super affordable, less than 10 bucks a month for an annual subscription. Now is the time to learn as much as you can, and this is a great way to do so. All you guys have to do is click the link in the description below for two free months of premium membership and start exploring that creativity. We love reacting to Bollywood visual effects. Please leave a comment down below. We read all the comments and we'd love to do more of these. Thank you for subscribing. We all appreciate it here. I've imagined watching this and I had a blast. I can't afford to see movies, but I watch the VFX breakdowns on YouTube and that's pretty exciting. <laughs> what the heck, dude? That's your character in a nutshell. I'd imagine the whole movie's quite nice if you watch it. <laughs>